So, you want to go to Mars. Just how far away is it? Before we can answer this, we need to cover a couple things. First off, Earth and Mars are both orbiting the Sun at different distances, so the distance between Earth and Mars changes depending on relative position. At its furthest, Mars is around 400 million kilometers away from Earth. At its closest approach, the distance comes down to 55 million kilometers. When traveling to Mars, spacecraft travel in well-timed curved paths where they arrive at the same point in space as Mars at the same time as Mars. Because of this, the actual distance traveled can be a lot longer than the physical distance itself. Launching during a close approach, a spacecraft might still end up traveling over 400 million kilometers before reaching Mars. So, to that end, we will imagine a straight line between Earth and Mars, with the two planets at their average distance of about 259 million kilometers. We will need a point of reference to easily visualize the distances involved. The Moon's distance also changes depending on its position in its orbit, so we'll have to use the average Earth-Moon distance of around 384,400 kilometers, roughly 30 Earth widths long. Each section here represents one average Earth-Moon distance. And away we go. Welcome to Mars! The distances involved here really are crazy to think about. The fact that we're able to send anything to Mars and beyond is absolutely amazing. The distances between the planets is so wide that even radio signals traveling at the speed of light take time to travel. A signal from Earth to Mars will take around 5 minutes at its closest and over 20 minutes at its furthest, and that's just one way. If you do go to Mars, don't expect to have live conversations with people back on Earth. Your access to the internet will also, at best, be instances of pre-downloaded pages with very high latency. Space is big, and very empty. This is also just between Earth and Mars, right next door on cosmic scales. Think about how far away Mars is from Earth, then think about the other planets in our solar system. If you really want to feel small, you can also think about the distance between Earth and other star systems. The galaxy is pretty big. 